For all the years of having a retail shop, doing arts and crafts festivals, there was a question. Are there any videos to show how to do what you do? And that's how I got started with videos. But when it comes to people asking about brazing, well, my brazing is pretty unorthodox. I'm using the bronze rod as part of the sculptures that I'm doing. I probably go through more brazing rod in a year than most people will go through in a lifetime. But if you want a neat, small braze, here's some hints. The first thing I'm going to do is to fuse weld these ends. I'm using this longer piece here, but to show you why I fuse weld the ends together. Okay, if I go along here and start heating, you'll notice these rods start getting further apart and start flexing right here. So if I'm going to braise that, I, I mean, there's going to have a big gap to fill in here. So by fuse welding the ends together, I don't have that problem. This is a general flux that I use for some projects. I've had this one for about 15 years and it's all dried out. I can put a little water in there and mash it down and it's perfectly good. But I thought maybe we'll just get a new one. That uh, was gonna look somewhat like this. Little flux on here. Don't need much because this is all brand new material. And depending upon the type of work you do, the position of the torch is important. And it could be going straight down like this, or you could be coming in like this, or what I often do is I want to preheat, so I'm going to cross like this. But the position of the torch depends upon the work that you're doing.
So here's what I got so far. Now that's probably the worst one. You got too much overlap here. And this one's pretty good. But down in here is really good. I mean, I just got that way down in there. This is good. This is good. Pretty good. This one, I actually had to use a magnifying glass to see the braise in there. Now the metal I use for these, this is 1 8 inch RG45. Just a standard gas welding rod. But I use it for many different things. It's mild steel. It appears to be copper. This copper is just a very light sheath on top. You can see it gets burnt off very quickly. But it's mild steel. And as always, clean new metal will always braise the best.